Hey guys, what's up? And today we are up against Chimera again. And it seems like we're up against Chimera every every week actually. So let's take a look at how, what they've been up to since the last time. So this is the beginning of our uh, saga right here. They uh, beat us uh, two weeks ago and then uh, a week after that we won this one. And just a few days after that we're up against them again. And it seems like since uh, the last time, they are on this crazy win streak. And they even beat Lunar Cry. Lunar Cry is a guild that we've fought like maybe three times. And I don't think we've won against Lunar Cry. So it seems like they've really figured out what to do in this current map. Yeah, and it looks like they're doing very well. We are actually very much behind right now in terms of pacing. And... You know, I just want to say quickly about the guilds in our bracket, right? So I feel like oh, there is a lot of similarities between Chimera and ourselves in terms of the philosophy as well. I think that we both have some very, very strong players in our guilds and then some players that are more casual, right? And I feel like the reason you see a lot of back and forth uh, between the guilds in our bracket is because it's just really a matter of who cares about the current meta at the moment and and who is willing to spend time and resource into building the units that are best for the current map, right? I feel like any of these guilds actually can easily get into the top 50 if they just convert a lot of their more casual players into caring more about the current meta. But, you know, it's this is a game that's very taxing in terms of resource and also attention right so in order for guilds to really build a camaraderie between the players they really need to be mindful of the individual players um, current mindset and as a guild you really need to be okay with that uh, because you know you want to be playing with these players for a long time and you want to be uh, climbing up the ranks all together right yeah, so that's just how I feel about that. And yeah, I do believe like a lot of these guilds in our bracket are, are really, really good. Okay, so for this team, last time we attacked Both. Uh, this is because Both doesn't have a lot of accuracy. And then for the second attack, we attacked Clyde. So I think we're going to do just the same thing uh, today. Yeah, although this team has changed a bit in terms of the vision cards and the arrangement of the people, I still pretty much expect the same thing to happen, right? Um, just generally this team shouldn't have enough accuracy to deal with our guys. But we don't really know, I mean, they might have updated their equipment or vision cards, but uh, at least from my viewing of the the team, it doesn't seem like they did any updates. Yeah, so the key here is to not get stuck on Warrior of Light. Um, I'm not sure how much this is going to hit for. Maybe 2,000 or 3,000, that's quite a lot. But this guy has a lot, has a lot of HP though. Uh, Rain's gonna get his turn. Um, we didn't dodge that. Oh, we did. So that's good. Okay, so Warrior of Light is down. You have two people to worry about. So I'm most worried really about Mont here. Because Mont can really do some not only damage but can really uh, fuck us up in terms of berserk and stuff oh dude that hurts so we might lose tifa here actually oh but she dodges this one oh man that's crazy oh and mont i mean i mean uh, rain there is really weak too uh, b -b blunt damage. Oh, but blunt. Fighting at your side. I don't remember why we went for Clyde for our next attack. 
Oh, because he has the, um, oh, what's his name? Zazan in the middle. Uh, but on this map, though, he is going to be on slot 3. And that's going to be quite the difference, actually, because if the first one we're going to encounter is the Elena, that's going to be a problem because our uh, Tifa is almost dead. But she's probably going to get hit. And we have a good chance of actually missing. So I'm thinking maybe uh, Clyde is not a good choice at the moment. Yeah, maybe Gay Dude is is an option here. Is Gay Dude still up? Oh, Gay Dude is. Oh, Gay Dude just got attacked by Dias. I don't know, guys. I think we definitely lose to Clyde uh, this time, and we might even not get one star. Maybe we got one star instead of two. Yeah, but I think if we attack SNTW here, we secure the, the two stars. And if we attack Basil B, maybe we get one or two stars. Yeah, I think I'll leave this for now and figure out what to do after I attack with my other teams. Okay, so last time we went against Nicholas QC. And I remember this Engelbert giving us a really hard time. And I think uh, what happened was we lost our Charlotte and we were gimped for the second fight. And I also think that we already went against Silver. I think the first time uh, we fought against Chimera, we went for Silver and we actually lost this fight. So I think I would rather go up against a Warrior of Light than a uh, an Engelbert, to be honest, with my team composition. So... Maybe this uh, silver, even though we lost the fight with silver, I think it's better to go against silver than uh, Nicholas QC. Maybe. We won't forgive those who make others suffer. All right, go, and it's pretty bad. I was ex I was hoping that he actually changed the arrangement of the team so that the Warrior of Light would be at the middle. Is Warrior of Light going to go one-on-one -on -one with my Charlotte? That's going to be bad for our two DPS guys here. Because they won't have a tank. And they lose to Charlotte. I mean, they lose to Elena. Oh, 2v1. No, no, they went to Elena 2v1. But we saw this yesterday, right? Cloud was trying to slash Elena. Which was crazy. Oops. What happened to my face there? All right, and ooh, not enough damage, and she does the Aeon Bond, that hurts. I think Elena is going to attack uh, 9S, and then 9S is going to survive. Yep, and then Cloud here should barrage, actually. Oh, and then that misses. He has re-raise, that's bad. And she's going to heal herself, at least, on the next turn. So we know she's going to do that. And Elena should go for our Charlotte. I mean, we need her to go for our Charlotte. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. We're dead here, dude. We are so dead. Oh, he survives, actually. At least she's moving towards our Charlotte now. Uh, is she gonna attack? We need Cloud to finish off uh, Yuna before anything bad happens. Oh no, dude. That is so bad. That is so bad. Yuna's gonna kill our... Uh, is she gonna kill Cloud? or? Oh no, she goes for Cloud. That's bad. Now we don't have any guaranteed way of hitting... Elena, which is really bad for us. Is she going to go for Elena? No, she doesn't. At least, um, we only need to hit her once now. Oh no, guys, this is intense. Yeah. 
and then we lost hate. Uh, it's a good thing though that 9s is uh, not so weak against slash. Yeah, but he dies here. Dude, this was so bad. And that wall is uh, holding hate so so well. I wonder why there's no sounds for this one. This is extremely cool though. Like I would imagine like if this was used like everyone would just be dead. This is so bad. Oh no. Oh no, and the stop. Couldn't have come at a worse time. Oh, you definitely lose this fight. That was so bad. And I don't even have faith on my Charlotte, so that makes it really bad. Dude, that was really bad. Okay, so uh, we did say that we would rather fight the uh, Warrior of Light rather than the Engelbert. That was pretty bad. I think um, definitely having 9S on the roster there really hurt us. I wonder if we should have gone for Nicholas QC instead, but I don't think it would have mattered. It's like the same team and probably wouldn't have mattered that much, to be honest. Okay, so for this team last time, we got six stars. Uh, we went for D's and player row right here, but they are both unavailable now. So we are looking for high attack teams that are slash. And I remember, I mean, the reason why we got six stars last time was that we were very lucky with some clutch cloud play. So you can't really depend on that all the time, right? I think Cryboss, Cryboss first, and then maybe Mimi or SNTW. It depends on the what happens with Cryboss. So we attack Cryboss first. Did he change one six six zero? No. So we attack Cryboss first. I will fight until the very end. Yeah, and I expect to win here. The the danger here is losing our Yuna. So that's the only thing that we need to like try and avoid here. Wait, why is my Mont going to the south? Oh, because he has a Warrior of Light on the south. Dude, this is going to be a problem. We need the Mont to tank that... Um, to tank that Auron. Yeah, I was, I was, I was out of it. Uh, this map is confusing me. I was thinking that my Mont would go to the middle as well because he was on slot 3. I, I forgot that it's different for attack and uh, defense for a few moments there. Yeah, I was, that was a lapse in judgment. But at least he's sort of um, going towards the bottom, right? Towards our Mont. And I just need you to move closer so that you're in range of Auron. And these two might get LB'd by Yuna. Yeah, so this is fine. This is what I want to happen. Yeah, the problem... Okay, so Yuna's going south. That's fine. You need to do use your LB here. Okay, so he's going to do LB. Let's see what this does. I'm hoping for, of course, the... Berserk to hit. Okay, so we got Berserk on one of the guys. Uh, Yuna's gonna attack with LB. And that's not gonna hit for a lot. Yeah. Oh, no, he's dead. Uh, that was a waste of Barrage, though. Okay, it looks like we are going to win this fight. This is going to hit hard for our Cloud, but he's going to live. Yeah, so Yuna should be able to heal that. Smile practice, maybe? No, no, not smile practice. Kiraga. Because he was standing on the platform. Um, should die here. I think she has re-raise. Yeah. 
Uh, but he is going to... Oh, oh, she's going to go. So she might do holy on her turn. Uh, these guys, I don't mind. They can do that all day. Um, eventually, our cloud's going to get there. Oh, she does smile practice. So she's going to get holy and then cloud should... Oh no, cloud's going for warrior of light. Yeah, this is going to take a while, guys. Uh, they're both like gonna throw everything at each other uh this should hit for maybe i don't know two thousand prepare yourself nine hundred that's crazy yeah it's gonna take a while uh wasted that uh holy there oh it was unavailable unavailable pain Okay, so this guy's our only problem now. Um, it's going to take quite a few turns to get him down. I just hope that... Oh no, Cloud's like using up all his AP. And this guy has no AP too. Yeah, so I hope he just tries and build up AP here and uh, prepare for the next fight. Yeah, that slash. I think Cloud is gonna use slash as well, like the normal attack to finish him off. Yeah, okay, that's good. At least he gets 67 there. So Cloud has uh, some AP stored up for the next fight. Yeah, so I think we have a choice of cleaning these up or going for Mimi. And I think since we are very behind, we should just go for the riskier play. That's my philosophy, like even in in whatever strategy or card game or some some whatever game that involves RNG is if you're behind that's when you should take your risks I will fight until the so so why did I decide to do this it's because um, we have members in our guild that actually have very very weak teams and they don't have the ability to just go up against a team uh, that's a 3v3 and get any stars so for me it's always like worth it to um, try and fight a new team and open it up for the weaker members of our guild like some of some of our guild mates still use Tidus for example like they use the the units from um, six months ago so this should help them at least if I weaken this team. Smile practice there is very bad for us. I hope she goes for Mont, but I don't think she will. I think she will go for a Cloud or a Yuna. Oh, she goes for Yuna. And that is really bad. And that's uh, even worse. So it's obvious to me now that we are going to lose this fight. But um, I'm really hoping that we get to at least take out one more person. But Cloud's going to go for a Warrior of Light here because he's in range. So that might not happen. Oh, he's at least going to go for an AoE here. Oh no, he doesn't. I think he's ran out of skills. So in this case, the... Um, the risk didn't really pay off. I was hoping for a better result here. But, in, I mean, overall, I wouldn't say that's a bad decision because if if I just went for the safe pace, we would, we would lose anyway. Yeah. Okay, so... I don't know guys, I don't know what to say. I said I would change this. I even put it on my YouTube video that I should switch my Jaden to slot one. And now two days later I'm still I still haven't found the time to change it. So this is really my fault if I botch these attacks. Yeah, so this time I think I'm either gonna go for Yano Sol or or Roldy. 
I think we go um, piano solve first, and then we go roly second. Uh, assuming we we survive piano solve, of course. If you choose to stand in my way, okay. So our only concern here was if um, Jaden gets baited on turn one. So th that's the reason why I picked these teams because, um, based on their setup. Uh, our uh, Jaden's not gonna get baited turn one. So now it's all about whether we can, you know, survive the attacks or not. Re-raise here. I think if he goes one on one with my Elena, if we're lucky, we're gonna be able to dodge like one or two attacks. But she actually needs to dodge like two attacks. Um, I think our Jaden here gets. Is she is he gonna get attacked first? Oh. So we need that Dwayne to miss. Yeah, she's gonna get to attack first. And we survive that. She needs to survive this. Okay. Then we just lose this fight. That was just unlucky. Oh, and he has some sort of um vision card, I think I think. Uh, and then these two are just dead. No mercy. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So we won't have the right tempo because um, Yuna's just gonna die here. Yeah. Oh, she lives, actually, but she's just going to heal herself. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, we've lost all tempo. Yeah, that's so bad, dude. I actually wasn't expecting to lose this fight, to be honest. I was expecting to win. So let's check that team. Yeah, so the thing that got us here is... For some reason, oh, because of this card, our Jaden went for the Yuna instead of the um, Helena. And I think that's so important, and because of this, probably. So because the Helena is built with, with much more resistance, the uh, Jaden actually went for the Yuna. That is so smart. That's actually really smart. And of course, the, um, the hit from Dwayne destroyed our game plan there. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to uh, recreate this team and then try and practice against it. This was really good. This was really smart. And that's it for me today, guys. I think we are going to lose today, probably. Uh, but I'm really happy that uh, I went for those teams because I, especially Yanosol, I think that was is a really smart. I think he did that on purpose and... And it's really smart how he used the uh, vision cards and the equipment to control the AI of the opponent. So that's really smart. I really learned a lot today. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a reason why they are on a winning streak, I think. They really figured things out for this map. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, kudos to Chimera. And uh, see you again tomorrow.